Hi everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Tales Crafts and today I'm going to show you three cards that I created with the Honey Bee Stamps Woodland Babies stamp set. You can see I colored up the fox and the gray bears already and the middle bear I colored in with my Zig markers. And I'm going to go over that brown bear with my Prismacolor pencils to get the look of fur, which you can see I already did on the fox and the gray bears. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me adding the Zig watercolor layer and how I colored in the fox. I guess my camera just wasn't filming, and I thought it was. Luckily, I noticed it before I added the flicks onto this brown bear, so I can at least show you the technique on how to get fur on your critters. So I do this by using Prismacolor pencils. You want a pretty sharp pencil for this, and you're basically just adding flicks, and you're adding a whole lot of flicks right side by side. You can see I'm stopping every now and then to sharpen my pencil. You want a nice sharp pencil so that you can get some really fine fur lines. And I'm flicking in the direction that the fur would naturally fall. So in the case of this mama bear here, I'm primarily flicking upwards and towards the left since she's curving to the left. And I chose a brown color pencil that matched as closely to the Zig Brown watercolor that's underneath. You can do the base layer with Copics or watercolor. I decided to do it with my Zigs because I use Bristol cardstock with my Zig uh, markers. And I thought that the Bristol would work better with my color pencils since it has a little bit of tooth to it. So the pencils stick really nicely to it. Around the mama bear's face, again, I'm flicking downwards because she's looking down, and then where her nose is, I'm going to flick upwards because the fur would be bending a little where her snout is, between her snout and her eyes. So I'm very mindful of where I think the fur would be falling, and so a lot of the times I'm switching the direction of my flick. Sometimes I'm flicking towards myself, other times I'm flicking away. So where the baby is laying on her stomach, I'm flicking away since that would naturally cast a shadow. And so the belly section of the bear, I'm flipping downwards. And then where her back is, I'm flicking upwards so that will create the look of a rounded bear. <laughs> I hope I make sense. Um, in the future, I definitely want to show how I color in another critter in real time so that I can better explain what I'm doing. This was also the first time I tried this, so I haven't even mastered it myself, but I'm really happy with my first attempt. And I would also like to show how I colored in the Zig base layer because I think that's equally as important. Because I'm only adding flicks with my color pencil, you need to have a base layer down so that you still see brown in between the flicks as opposed to white. But I think showing white would be really cool too. That could give like a sketchy look. All right, so I do use two pencils, one darker shade and one lighter shade. So I'm about to switch pencils here. Yes, this is like a lighter orangey brown color that I'm adding to the center highlight areas that I mapped out with my Zig watercolor pen. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm adding flicks. I'm kind of rounding these ones since they're in the center and I want this bear to look dimensional. So I'm just going to finish up here. I did color all of my babies a shade lighter than the moms. So I'm only going to use the one lighter pencil on the baby bears. So I'm just going to finish up the coloring and then I will show you all three images zooming in in a little bit and then off camera I will die cut them out so now I'm going to start card one hello that is Felix he's a Siamese so he's very vocal and I'm going to ink blend some broken china distress ink now I'm adding faded jeans and then I'm going to also add wilted violet I'm using a picket fence studios blender brush here to apply the ink and I wanted this to look like a starry night or a space galaxy kind of scene. So that's why I'm adding in the purple. And I wanted to add stars. 
So I'm going to take some of my Kiritake Fine Tech watercolor and it's in the white silverish shade. Here it is off to the side. I'm gonna first splatter on some water and pick those water droplets up with the paper towel and that's gonna bleach the ink underneath it and lift it up and it adds some texture to the sky. And now I'm going to flick on these stars with that silver watercolor. And once this dries, it leaves a really pretty metallic shine. I'm just gonna clean up my glass mat. And then I didn't bother to add ink to the bottom because I knew I was going to add clouds over part of the background. So I die cut some clouds from some purple cardstock as well as some vellum. And the die I used is by Trinity Stamps. I will have everything I used listed down below. And most of these items can be purchased um, at the Not Too Shabby Shop. So I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, which says, congratulations on your adoption. I'm going to add some ink first to this circle. I wanted this to be the moon. So I'm adding some gray ink around the edges to just give it a little bit of dimension. And then in the center, I stamped that sentiment out with Versafine. Now I'm going to layer up my clouds with my art glitter glue. And then after that, I will just glue those clouds to the bottom of the ink blended panel. So this card was mailed to my aunt and uncle who live in Germany. They just adopted a one day old baby girl. In the adoption world, that's very rare to get a newborn, so I'm so thrilled for them. They've been wanting a baby for several years now, and it's finally happened. What's super strange is I bought this stamp set specifically for them because I had never seen an adoption sentiment in a stamp set before, so I just thought that it was perfect. So I bought it like two weeks ago, and I just got it in the mail, and sure enough, they they call us and say that they just got their baby and if you've ever adopted before you know you don't know when you will get the baby it's completely random the child protective services will call you and say that there's a baby born and ready to be adopted can you show up at the hospital today and that's exactly what happened to them and it's just such a weird coincidence that they adopted the baby a few days after i received this stamp set and there were a lot of other weird coincidences um, that they experience. But anyway, my mom and I went shopping and bought a whole bunch of baby clothes. No offense if you live in Germany, but the baby clothes are not that cute and they're super expensive. So we live by a Carter's outlet. So we bought so many outfits and I just placed this card on the top of the box and we sent it out to Germany. So congratulations. I know my, um, at least my aunt is watching this, probably my uncle too. So congratulations. I hope you guys like the card. Anyway, we're on to card number two, and I'm just going to glue down some strips of baby girl pattern paper. These are just some pink pastel pattern papers that I cut into strips, and I'm just gluing them onto this large white rectangle. I will be making this into a slim line. By the way, my first card was cased, so I will leave the original artist and her picture in my description box. She's a member of the Honey Bee Design Team and she also colored in her critters with that same fur technique. So I wanna give her credit and I highly suggest that you check out her card because I was heavily influenced by her or inspired when I created mine. So now I'm going to work on the sentiment on this card. I'm going to stamp out Precious New Arrival onto this die cut circle which i cut from some plaid pattern paper this paper was slick so i decided to clear heat emboss the sentiment so that the ink wouldn't smear i'm also going to stamp out welcome little one and add clear embossing powder over that sentiment and then i'll just heat set everything off camera and then i'm going to assemble my card so i die cut the strip pattern paper panel from a stitched rectangle slimline die. Behind that, I added a white scallop stitch rectangle slimline die. And now I'm going to pop up my circular sentiment with some foam tape. I'm gonna glue that towards the top of the panel. And then I'll glue the foxes right underneath that sentiment. So I added a little bit of foam tape on the tail and on the bottom part of the mommy fox. And then the baby and then the top part of the fox, I will just add glue where it overlaps the circle. And then I'll also pop up the welcome little one sentiment. 
And then I will mat it onto some cream cardstock. I wanted to pull in some more cream that was on the circular pattern paper panel. And then I added some pearls and some clear heart droplets. And that's gonna complete the second card. It was really simple, but I love the pattern paper background. So here is a close up. For my final card, I'm going to take this Daniel Smith watercolor droplet sheet. I got this in a previous Hero Arts card kit, and I decided to use the blue color and the black from this watercolor sheet, and I'm just using a Winka Stella brush to add this color to a watercolor panel. I think this is Canson XL. It could be Bristol, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to add several layers of watercolor to this. And off camera I am drying it in between layers. And this paper held, held up pretty well to all the water that I was adding to it. I wanted it to be pretty dark. I was going for another night sky. But it is very loose and artsy looking, I guess. So I'm trying to fade it out into the white paper. And I'm also going to add a little bit of that blue color underneath where I plan to add my bears. And now I'm gonna do some heat embossing. So you can see I just added my anti-static sock tool to this panel so that I don't have any um, static on my panel and I can add my gold embossing powder. I'm laying out the stars that came in this, the stamp set as well as a sentiment. I think this says congratulations on your new arrival. I inked the stamps up with my Versamark ink and then I stamped it onto the panel and now I'm going to pour some gold embossing powder over that. And then I'm going to remove some of those stars from my Misty and add them to an acrylic block so I can stamp out a few more stars around my bears. I wanted the stars to be more concentrated on the blue area and then kind of have them fade out into the white portion. So as I stamp, I add my gold powder. Off camera, I heat set that powder. And now I'm going to flick on some gold Kiritaki watercolor. I'm just using a paintbrush to do that. I'm going to take some more blue and black watercolor and flick on some of that. Again, I wanted this to look very artsy. I think the splatters help to achieve that look. I'm going to add foam tape behind my bears and pop them up on this panel. So this panel was pretty warped by the time I was finished with it. I will add a few clear heart droplets to this. These are by Trinity Stamps. I think they're called Boiled Sugar Embellishments. So like I said, the panel was quite warped, so I did add a lot of tape to the back of this. And then I will just adhere it onto my A2 card base. And that will complete my final card using the Honey Bee Stamps Woodland Babies stamp set. You can purchase this stamp through the Not Too Shabby shop and I will have a discount code uh, listed down below if you want to pick up this stamp set. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't yet already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!